Okay, everyone. So we're back with imaginary and complex numbers. So as you'll recall, we already did adding complex numbers. We did subtracting complex numbers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply complex numbers. Now here in the notes, it says multiply complex numbers. Monkey face, right? So I'm going to remind you since we're going to multiply, right? Now, if you follow with me, okay, I'm going to do it slow. I promise it will be completely doable, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a monkey face. So I'm going to do the left eyebrow first. So the left eyebrow goes from this 8 to this 12. So I'm going to make an eyebrow like that. Well, since we're multiplying, 8 times 12 is 96. There you go. Now I'm going to make the right eyebrow, which goes from 8i to negative 10i. So I'm going to make the right eyebrow just like that. A negative times a positive is a negative. 8 times 10 is 80. And i times i is i squared. Okay. Now I'm going to make the nose. The nose goes from the 8i to the 12. So I'm going to make the nose just like that. So 8 times 12 is 96. I, right, the I is still there. Now I'm going to draw the mouth. The mouth goes from the 8 to the negative 10i. So that goes a big loop just like this. A positive times a negative is a negative. 8 times 10 is 80. Can't forget the I there. Right? So, as you can see, right? The eyebrows, the nose, the mouth, and the ears. Yeah? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's kind of corny, right? That's okay. So, now I take the nose and the mouth and I subtract. That's just minus. 96i minus 80i is 16i, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first number that I got was 96, right? So I'm going to take 96 and I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to write it just like this, 96. Then this in the middle, if you notice the 16i is in the middle of these two. I'm going to bring down, oh, by the way, this is a positive uh, 90, uh, 16 because 96 is bigger, right? So I'm going to say plus 16i, i, excuse me. And then on the right side is minus 80i squared. Now, one more thing that I have to do. Remember that i squared, in the notes, i squared is equal to negative 1. So I'm going to bring down 96 plus 16i minus 80. But instead of putting i squared, I'm going to put parentheses negative 1. Right? Because i squared is equal to negative 1. And now, negative 80 times negative 1 is positive 80. And I'm going to bring down everything else. 96 plus 16i plus 80. It's a little, right, uh, offline. But 96 and 80 are both regular numbers, so I can add those two together. So 96 plus 80 is 176, and I still have plus 16i. And there we go. That is our solution. Now, every single one of these problems multiplying complex numbers is going to be the same exact steps. So let's take a look at some examples on... Delta math, All right? So that's what that looks like here. It's going to say simplify the expression 
to a plus bi form, which you guys are already familiar with, right? The a represents a number by itself and plus a number i, right? Just like the example here, 176 is a number by itself plus a number i, 16i, right? So let's do this first uh, example here and we're going to do the same thing, okay? The eyebrows goes from negative seven to negative 10, okay? Negative times a negative is a positive write a plus or I don't have to write a plus right it could be just regular number 7 times 10 is 70 now the right eyebrow goes from 7i to negative 9i like that a positive times a negative is a negative 7 times 9 is 63 and i times i is i squared now the nose goes from 7i to negative 10. A positive times a negative is a negative. 7i times 10 is 70i. Now the mouth goes from negative 7 to negative 9i. So I'll go all the way around just like that. Negative times negative is a positive. 7 times 9 is 63i. 7 times 9i is 63i. Now, I combine the nose and the mouth here. So they're different signs, so I know I have to subtract. 70 minus 63 is 7i. Now, 70 is bigger and 70 is a negative, so I know I have my negative 7i there. Now remember, I always start on the left, right? With the left eyebrow. So that's just regular 70. I go in the middle. What's in the middle here? Negative 7i. And at the end, at the far right side is negative 63i squared. Well, remember, i squared is negative 1. So negative 63 times negative 1. And what is negative 63 times negative 1? Negative times negative is a positive. 63 times 1 is 63. Now these two things, these just come straight down because nothing happened to them. So I'm going to do 70 minus 7i. Now 70 and plus 63 are like terms. So 70 plus 63 is 130. Oops, you know what? I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to write it here. 70 plus 63 is 133. And I still have my minus 7i. And that is my final expression simplified okay let's do another example here okay left eyebrow all right like that 10 times negative 5 is negative 50 right eyebrow 8i times 6i is 48 I squared nose uh, 8i times negative 5 is negative 40i mouth 10 times 6 positive times positive is 60 uh, I I combine my nose and mouth here there are different signs, so I have to subtract. Negative and a positive, so I have to subtract. 60 minus 40 is 20i. And since 60 is positive, then the answer is going to be positive as well. Now remember, I'm going to start on my left here, right? The left eyebrow is 
negative 50. The middle here is plus 20i. And the right side, this is a positive 48i squared, so plus 48i squared. Now remember that i squared is negative 1. So if I bring down my 48 and i squared is negative 1, right? So I multiply. A positive times a negative is a negative. 48 times 1 is 48. Now these two here, nothing happened. So I just bring them straight down. Negative 50 plus 20 i. Again, my negative 50 and my negative 48 are like terms. And they're the same sign, so I have to add them. 50 plus 48 is 98. 50 is a negative and it's the bigger integer, so my answer is going to be negative. And can't forget my plus 20 i. And that is my expression simplified. Okay, a couple more of examples, a couple more examples of what you're going to see on Schoology, on uh, Delta Math, excuse me. You're going to see something like this, okay? Now, this looks a little different than these original ones here, but technically it's not. So you see this square means? This square means you're doing something twice. So this square really means this parentheses two times. So what this really means is this, 12 minus i and 12 minus i. It's two of them, right? But once you have them as two, then we can do the monkey face, right? Left eyebrow, 12 times 12 is 144. Negative i times negative i. Negative times negative is positive. i times i is i squared. Nose. Negative i times 12 is negative 12i. And mouth. 12 times negative i is negative 12i. So I add my nose in my mouth and they're the same sign, so I add them. 12 and 12 is 24i, and they're both negative, so I do that. Now, just as before, I always start on the left, right? Left eyebrow is 144, so 144. The middle here is minus 24i. And the right side here is plus i squared. Now remember, i squared means negative 1. Now technically there's a 1 here, right? But negative 1 times 1 is 1. So negative 1 just comes down as negative 1. So I can bring down everything else. So just as before, we Add the first term and the last term. They're both regular numbers. 144 minus 1 is 143. And I still have my minus 24i. And that is my solution, my expression simplified. Finally, one more example. So we know that the square means that it's this parentheses two times. So let's write this parentheses two times. Okay. 
And now let's do our monkey face, right? Left eyebrow, negative 11 times negative 11 is positive 121. Right eyebrow, I times I is positive I squared. I times negative 11 is negative 11 I. And then the mouth. Negative 11 times I is negative 11 I. So these two are both negative, so I add them. 11 plus 11 is 22i. And uh, 11 is bigger, they're both 11, so negative, right? So I always start with the left eyebrow, 121. The middle here, the chin, I guess if you want to call it, is negative 22i. And the right side is plus i squared. Now remember, i squared is negative 1. So I can bring down negative 1 here, and then I bring down everything else. And I remember that 121 and negative 1 are like terms. 121 minus 1 is 120, and minus 22i. And there is my expression simplified. And there you go. Those are the examples you're going to see on Delta Math for multiplying complex numbers.